Hey loves, what is up? Thanks for joining me today. My name is Lauren, if you didn't know, and today we are going over the newest releases from Pat McGrath. I picked up the highlighter and the eyeshadow quad. I already have Divine Rose in the pink packaging. I did a video on it um, a few days ago doing three eye looks that are very beginner friendly, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. I'll put it, I think it's going to show up up here. I'll put it up up here. Um... So we have the Divine Rose Luxe Quad in Eternal Eden, which is this right here. And this is what this quad looks like. This little quad we have um, retails for $58 and we have the four shades, which are, I just, I just point on my hand. We have Pink Mystique, which is a light pink with shimmering gold flash. Temptation, a muted magenta, forbidden fruit, a rich pink bronze metallic, and earthly delight, which is a mid-tone cool brown matte. So those are the four shades. Um, I have them a little backwards, but that's fine. And then we also have this highlighter, which is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. And on top it says Highlighter and Divine Rose. This is $48 and this is what it looks like. And here we have the color. doesn't actually say what the shade color is. It just says Iridescent and Pearlescent Pigments. Okay, so it doesn't really give a description but if I had to describe it I'm gonna it's this one right down here it is this peachy gold shade um I have on next to it swatched a couple of her other highlighters I have the one from her holiday which I was not a fan of it looked kind of gray on my skin tone and that is a champagne gold and then I have this uh pink one from her sublime skin highlighter trio and I have the shade what shade is this iridescent pink 003 this pink one I'm trying to think I don't think this gold one comes close to it let me see yeah no that's super gold so yeah so I have I'm ignoring the bronze shade in this palette but this one is a gold and this is the 00 pink iridescent 3 pink iridescent 003 okay um, that's the goal. So as you can see so far, she doesn't have anything that's like reminiscent of it. This shade though does remind me of, um, what's in Divine Rose 1, that peachy shade. So it is something similar out there in her lineup, but she turned it into a full blown highlighter, I guess is what I'm trying to get at today. I did use all four shades on my eyes today in the demo you will see that and I do have this highlighter it is not just on my um, high points but it is also on my cheeks as well I'm not sure if you're seeing on camera it's picking up really gold in person there is peach like a peach reflux going on that is showing on my skin but that's what the highlighter looks like it's really it's super pretty I really I fuck with this heavy like I like this highlighter that she 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 came through with this highlighter I would say out of this though um she bought back this creamy matte formula so the mattes in here are this creamy matte formula she introduced this in her holiday collection I am not a fan of this formula already um it's very crumbly it's not really creamy what do I call this creamy I'm, I'm trying to think what I'm saying like it it, it kicks up a lot in the pan um and they don't seem to blend very well on top of each other. I mean, I made it work, but I just I just wish this was just in her regular matte formula. I'm not a big fan of this new formula. She's trying to slowly um, shove down our throats. But I will say the two standout shades would be these two. The two shimmers, I guess, in here. This is a shimmer. This is like a satin shimmer. I have this shade on my, my inner corner and on my lower lash line. And then I have this purple shade all over the lid. It's nice. It is glitterly, glitterly. It is very glittery. And I really like these two shades a lot. These two are like, meh. And I, you could probably find shades just like these. It's a pink and a mauve. 
um, in other palettes, not just within Pat McGrath's line, but probably like in other eyeshadow palettes that you could own for a lot cheaper. Um, but other than that, I don't really have much else to say about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, just thought I would get on here and demo these products if you was curious to see what they do on dark skin. So I think I'm going to start off with the shade Earthly Delight with a small flat packing brush. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. That is a lot darker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be lighter. Okay. And I'm just placed that on the inner portion of my lid all the way out, almost to the edge. Not quite the edge, but almost. And I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend this out. Now, if I recall, she has this creamy matte formula in one of the holiday quads she just released for this past Christmas. And it was a pink shade, and I wasn't a big fan of it, but this is the same formula. And I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but I mean, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm now going to take, wipe off that brush, use the same brush, and take the shade Temptation. I believe this is called. It's either Temptation or Pink Mistake, this pink shade. And pat that on the outer corner. One more tip. There we go. And again, take the same blending brush and blend it out. There's not too much of a variation between this shade and this shade, honestly. They're both very light. They're both pastel. Um, so I don't expect you to get... A super dramatic like transition out of this but I do want this pink to be permanent so I'm just gonna put some more on this eye and blend until I can't do it no more and blend Yeah, it's not too much of a variation. Like, one is going to overpower the other. So, I would either just do one single lid shade using either or matte. But combining them isn't looking like the move right now. I am going to, however, put a little bit more of the purple shade on top with the same packing brush. What is the shade called? Earthly Delight. And try to bring some of that purple back. But it's looking like it's being ate up by the pink. And they're not layering very well, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. I mean, this product could still work, like I said, if you just chose one matte at a time, but not two. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to, like, get at here. Okay. That's what we're looking at. You can see the gradient. Like I said, it's not. The pink's going to overpower the purple in this situation. So, Or this mauve shade. Whatever you want to call this shade. It's like a dusty purple. I'm going to take the shade Forbidden Fruit with my finger. And just slap that on the purple part that we just put down. That's really pretty. I feel like all my eye looks kind of look the same. <sighs> it's been a lot of pink palettes lately. Don't worry, the next one will be like something. What? But that is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a nice lavender kind of shade. And I'm just going to do that on the other eye. Wow, that's really glittery, really pretty, really shiny. I like that. I like this shade a lot. What is this one? Forbidden Fruit. I like this a lot. 
flat definer brush flat shader small a very small one I'm gonna take the tip of this brush and dip it in that pink shade temptation and drag that along the lower lash line it's easier to just look up and do it I'm gonna stamp first and then blend after stamp and blend and then I'm gonna take this shade with the same brush I just wiped it off called pink mystique and we're just gonna run that on the lower lash line if I can pick any up on the brush and I'm also gonna take the shade pink mystique and put that in my inner corner as well it's quite intense on its own okay I'm gonna um, put on lashes and I'll be right back okay on to the next thing so we have the Pat McGrath's Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Girl Highlighter let me grab a brush I'm gonna do a small brush because I don't know what this is gonna look like and if it's anything like the last highlighter she came out with then I might be upset so we gonna go slow Oh, it's one of those like very hard press pan type things. So I did pick up a lot on this brush. We want to see. Oh, well, that's pretty. This is actually doable. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like this so much. Okay. She has redeemed herself because that last highlighter she came out with was something else. Oh, that is so pretty. I could do this all day. Alright, I want to see how this looks on the cheeks though. So we want to, since it's safe, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush the one at the same when I use this at my powder and I'm just gonna see if I can put more of this on my face because this is bomb just a quick light sweep on my cheeks that is really pretty camera's picking it up it looks like more gold but in person there is a peachiness to it so you can see the peach which I appreciate that is really pretty okay now that I am highlighted to the freaking gods um it made the sun jealous on that one um I'm just gonna tone this down just a little bit because it is intense um as far as texture on my face it's not doing too much but then again I don't have problematic pores so if you do god bless but on my complexion this looks fine and on my skin it looks fine okay well that is it for me today as far as makeup is concerned um just got these in the mail last night um showed up and I didn't even get like a delivery or shipping notification but I did get a weird email yesterday talking about some your order may be delayed due to like the heavy snow that's happened in the northeast and yes it was heavy because it snowed for two days straight um but it showed up so I thought that was odd that they like sent me a message saying hey your package may be delayed but it also showed up uh, interesting to say the least but I think that's all I really have for today um, I hope this helped in some way if you was interested in these products and how they appear on dark skin um, yeah that's all I really have to say for today I really like this highlighter like this highlighter is doing it for me if I had to recommend anything out of this I would definitely recommend this highlighter but other than that I mean the quad's cute but you can honestly pass on it um yeah i think that's all i have to say thanks for joining me today um and i will see you in the next one stay safe yeah.
it do not matter. 